But you're pretty proud of yourself right now, Dr. Prince. She'll be an amazing elementary school principal. Our last speaker for the evening is really known as, at least by me, the voice of Crescent Valley High School. He's involved in um, many productions, would like to make film his career, and specifically behind our monthly Raider reports. In addition, each week he reads the announcements during advisor over the loudspeaker in the school. And at the end of each series of announcements, he concludes with, I love you all and there's nothing you can do about it. <laughs> Please welcome Lucas Luna. Wow. You know, I thought the view from down here was beautiful, but this is probably the most beautiful sight I've ever put my eyes on. <laughs> All of you here. <laughs> I have a few words. A man is on his way to work while he's finding a radio station. An idea strikes him to grab a cup of coffee. So he finds the nearest coffee shop and he orders his usual. He pays and everything is normal. He waits a few minutes and watches the steam rise and the shots of espresso pour into his cup. And then the young girl barista extends her arm and gives him the coffee. Then she says the most meaningful phrase in the entire world. Have a nice day. Every day we are told these four words. And do we even notice anymore? Do we even take the conscious effort to break down what those words mean? Have a nice day. We all know what it means. It's a command. It's an attempt to push us in a positive direction of that particular day. And we see it on bumper stickers and we see it on billboards. Your mom tells it to you every morning. Well, let me ask you a question. When did the phrase become hollow? When did have a nice day lose its meaning? If you think a bit further when you hear the phrase, you realize a few things. We know the barista only tells you because the training video told her, or the bumper stickers and the billboards tell you because someone's profiting off of that somewhere. And your mom tells you because she's your mother and she has to. <laughs> but what if we stopped? What if we just simply threw our original denotation back into the phrase? That man is going to work that morning and he was just told to have a nice day. And what if he did? What if everyone did? Everyone would have a nice day that day. There's one very honest truth that rarely gets spoken in high school, and it has to do with feeling something from that expression. That honest truth is that we have a choice. We have a choice to decide what have a nice day means to us. It is the most important thing you could ever understand. Everyone has the ultimate power to decide whether or not Anything means anything at all. That is what life is. We have the ability to give our own lives meaning. We can choose whether or not anything matters. And it isn't just words. It's people or emotions. If someone has ever told you, I love you, then you immediately had a choice to decide whether or not it meant anything at all. What about, I hate you? or you're stupid, or you're nothing, or you're awesome, you're incredible, you're everything. You decide what each of those means to you. I want everyone to think of one successful or happy person you know and picture them in your head. Then ask yourself, why is she happy? How or why is he successful? Why aren't I like that? What makes me so sad and lonely? The successful or happy person you pictured has mastered choice. They've always had the inherent ability 
to decide what doesn't matter and what does. And they have made the correct decision. I'm not saying that deciding is all that counts. In no way am I saying that simply choosing will make you happy or successful. There's no getting around it. We all have to work hard, and we all have to grow up, and we all have to mature. I'm just telling you where it all begins. Anger, and hate, and contentment, and happiness, and even pure bliss. All of these begin with how you choose to accept your reality. The most important decision you will ever make is given to you every single day. And the decision is what you choose to think after you hear these four words. Have a nice day. Thank you. You are awesome. I was just going to ask you to stand. Graduates, please stand. <laughs> Told you they're incredible. Dr. Prince and members of the school board, it is my privilege to present the class of 2013. I certify they have met all of the district requirements to participate in the ceremony this evening. <laughs> 